so uh, in this video we'll be looking at how to create your own app without any code so there's no need of you to know any app development programming languages like flutter dot or java or any other code or any other programming languages to create an app so all these are online softwares it can be used either for web applications or your android or ios uh, but here oracle apex is only used for web applications uh, or you can use it in your tablet so i'll be doing that in a later video so today we'll be going through glide apps so the functionality of glide apps and app sheets is almost the same uh, it uses your uh, Google Sheets to create an app uh, but then uh, this can be a kind of okay-ish to create your own application without any code for your uh, projects or any other stuff so right now let's go to uh, glide uh, so glide you can just click glide app so it goes into the their own website glideapps.com you can just go through it in my just click this so we will show you glideapps.com i'll link all the descriptions below which i am working on uh, so yes so create an app from google sheets in five minutes that's actually true so okay let's dive straight into so you can just sign in i've already signed in uh, so through so I'll just sign in yeah so I, I was just going around the uh, app for some time so let's go from Google Sheets so this is the thing which you have uh, the dashboard as soon as you sign you can sign in through your uh, uh, gmail account and give access to your Google Drives so let's go to cake shop so this is a small project I'm working on right now. So let's just close all the other tabs. And this is working for home Okay, uh, this is the cake shop uh, Excel sheet. So I'll have the timestamp when they uh, uh, entered their uh, order, their name, the email, the address, what kind of cake do they want, the price, do they want decorations the decoration price the taxes and if the order is complete uh, the owner can give it as complete the total price and uh, this is the file link uh, using document studio it's an add-on uh, so you can go to add-ons and get add-ons you'll have document studio and from document studio uh, you can edit and create your own automatic invoices and uh, send direct mails to the customers so through that i have uh, done the invoice this invoice for each and every customer and this is the map so using add-ons and there is an add-on called maps for sheets using that uh, you can just uh, go to the formula so hyperlink gs get place url of d2 so d2 is the address which i am on so D2, yeah, it's Bangalore. So the direct map of Bangalore comes in. So let me just give, okay, yeah, maps. And if I click that, it will directly go to, yeah. So place ID is equal to Bangalore and the map Bangalore map comes up. If the, this is just an example data which is given as Bangalore. So if you give an uh, unique address or the perfect address, it will directly go to that place and this is the uh, invoice pdf the automatically generated and i'll send the email status like the email of the in invoice pdf directly to the consumer or the customer okay so this is the base and here as soon as you import it you can see data and in data i'll have all the things same as that of in my google sheets and the cake prices and the forms and in layout this uh, this is basically built upon ai so it automatically gets uh, where do you place stuff according to the google form you send in so i don't want sheets 3 so you can go to tabs 
and you can get sheets 3 down to hidden tabs and in form responses 1 I want it as orders and in orders you can select any kind of that let's just keep it like this or uh, yeah fine let's just keep it like this and the cake prices okay and in layouts let's just go through so this is compact so it comes small and you'll have to download things and this is compact this is tiles according to calendar this comes up no events because uh, maybe the title can be timestamp and when timestamp so in Thursday 16th April 2020 I have so many orders and uh, in title I'll give name so uh, 11 27 of 16th April Ram has ordered a cake so when you click that it'll go through his invoice like whichever is added that's calendar uh, map is you'll have a built-in map where you have the location so i just given a Madre location here and a Bangalore location here so if you just click on it you'll have Ganesh okay so there are many things like that uh, and i can zoom in and uh, this is Ganesh and this is Lakshmi and maybe there's one more near okay i've given the same location as bangalore so it's on top of it and you can give checklist is uh, the orders given so i can uncheck these two so these are the things which i've ordered and it's not delivered or it's not ready and cards in cards you can in image you can give uh, maps so the map comes in or the file status or the email status anything is fine but then on our content this won't be looking good and in details you'll have separate details so this won't go through so let's just go to list and in title i'll give the name and in caption i'll give the timestamp okay and uh, image i don't want an image yeah fine so name address timestamp Okay, fine. Yeah, let's just see. Okay, timestamp and in cake prices, let's just be here and you can search and uh, okay, go to, let's go to features. In features, it'll have placeholder, you can add filters, so limit the items displayed based upon their properties. So, if I add filter, timestamp is and you can uh, uh, set filters and sort by enough filters is okay let's just minus it so i'll get it back and in our filters i can filter it through timestamp so I'll, I'll get a icon here and i can filter it to timestamp because it's just on 16th of april it's not giving a big difference or let it just uh, maybe according to cake okay so if i go to cake chocolate chip i'm done asuresh the only guy who's done chocolate chip and if we go to all and press done, I'll get all the things back. Uh, let's just go back. And um, if I add, I, I can add. Uh, okay, so I can just put on the date, the name, and all those stuff. So this is according to the first tab, which is layout. And let's go to tabs. In tabs, you will have the, the, the uh, under the, la the last tab is here. So I love orders and cake prices or I can uh, include many others too so I can add a tab like that and that's just tab so this is a small one and in data you can uh, change your data here right here but I forgot to tell you one thing so in layouts uh, in add actually if you add one of the entry here it automatically gets updated in your google sheets too that's damn cool you just you, you just don't want you can give both and the consumer and the owner the app like two apps maybe and uh, even the consumer like the customer can also use this app at the same time even the uh, owner can use the app at the same time so this is the data and preview as i'm just giving the user so in settings you can uh, 
I'll get it. I don't want to add. So this is just for the owner. So for the consumer, it's the same thing. If for the consumer, I shouldn't let people to edit these, or they shouldn't see these. They they should just need to add some. That's it. Okay. So uh, you can choose and um, maybe an icon for your. Okay, just try to choose one. Uh, maybe let's just see cake. Okay, yeah. So let's just choose cake and an accent color. I'll go through dark and with dark. Let's go red. Uh, okay, let's just go blue. Yeah, and uh, system fonts. You can change the system or modern. Of futuristic, let's just stay with system. And in general settings, uh, you can give a description, author, or uh, allow anyone to allow anyone with the link to copy the app and sheet. So I don't want that. Or uh, if you want, you can, and uh, you can use it through tablet and modem, which is free until July 2020. That's actually good and uh, reload on sheets so these uh, actually google sheets uh, analytics i guess only glide has this option of google analytics tracking id and none of the thing none of the other things actually none of the other things have so that's actually a good add-on for glide but then it's a pro version and uh, in sign in yeah you can uh, make a uh, public people use it so public with email and can sign in with the Google account uh, just public and uh, let's just enter a password or email whitelist okay that's a pro version sorry and uh, maybe public with email and, oh, let's just the password and okay fine I'll just type a password that's fine and you can welcome with a greeting or a description you can give a description let's just make it black and uh, if you click edit sheet it directly, it directly goes, goes to your uh, google sheets you can directly edit them so that's it people uh, this is actually cool so okay fine uh, let me just if you want to open it through your uh, Okay, let's let me just publish. So if you wanna make people use your app, you need to publish the app first of all. So let's just wait. Yeah, done. So I just copy this and I'll paste it. You can paste the same link in your phone too. Um, so let's just enter and let it load. So this loads up. And if you click your the same thing, you can actually install it in your phone itself right away. Uh, so the password would have been Synthel, right? So let's just Synthel and click continue. Uh, so signing in, yes. So these are the orders which I've done. Okay, so why is the new tab here? So I don't want that. So let's just go to tab. See the new tab here. The new tab. Let's just delete it. Okay. So in orders, let's refresh. Okay. So I already signed in. So I guess it just continues the same, or I guess it continues. Yeah, it just continues. Yeah, so entire RAM, I love all this. And in Google Maps, I go to just click the link which is right here. Okay, let's just wait. Yeah, so yeah, in Google Maps, this is the link. So if you just click that, it goes there. So invoice PDF of RAM. So if you click that, you go to my Google Drive and it will show me the pdf invoice which is automatically generated with dynamic generation uh, actually i'll make a video on how to dynamically generate pdf using that so according to that the invoice is for centel and he has ordered strawberry cakes 800 bucks and 
for decorations she's given yes so it's 99 and the total is 1043 and in google maps he's given bangalore i guess yes you are given bangalore so it's just a map of bangalore so you can uh, go through all the features in here if you want any help go into documentations or video tutorials so in documentation they'll have each and everything how you need to edit stuff so in components how you do you want your design and architecture how you want your actions from where you can do your spreadsheets and all other things and uh, the next uh, the video will be on oracle apex uh, so that's actually damn cool you'll have your own sql database and all those stuff which I guess will be better than the client maybe so let's just go through that in the next video and uh, the final thing is right here so if you want to download it uh, you can just copy this link put in your phone and just add it to your home screen and that will be with, with the app here the icon will be just the same icon okay so that's it people and please do share subscribe it and thank you